Did I call it something weird there, family guy? I thought I said it was a subway station. Oh, you're talking you're talking to Vance. Okay, I gotcha. <laughs> oh, it's you again. What's up? Oh, Foundry guy's all it's a freaking subway maid, it's nothing special. It's special to them. It's their their shadows that embrace them. <laughs> because they uh, have to stay out of the light for whatever reason. I mean, most of the laws make sense, but that one's kind of dumb. Ah, here we go. It's not that far away. Oh, God. Air control. What the heck is this? Oh. It's just another way out. All right, let us ride, Sarge, to Erafu. One speed successes. I remember that one. It was like 10%. Oh, that was beautiful when that happened. Hey there, friend. There he is, the hero of the day. Yes? It's done, Ian. The family and never bother uh, Arafu again, my friend. Let's see. I know. I talked to Ian, and he told me everything you did. I don't know how you did it, but goddamn am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. Cool. Well, anyway, I have a proposal from Vance, the family's leader. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. Yes. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. Man, he is... I mean, you're taking this really well, I have to say. Any help you can provide would be appreciated, friend. I've been saving up stuff for emergencies, in case things with Arafu got tremendously bad. You're welcome to some of it if you like. Cool. I got some whiskey. Thank you. Appreciate it. You know how to thank me, right? All right. Now let's go back to him because we're going to talk to him again. And yes, I am the hero of Kavach. Also, uh, the people in the chat say that I must, uh, at one point, explode some pads. And I will show you how that is uh, accomplished. Is there's not much to it. You know what? I actually should talk to that guy who just fucking sat down. Who the hell are you? Thank God. Water. Uh, sure. You Have a water. Life. I won't forget it. Neat. I think that's just a karma drop, folks. I don't think we'll ever see him again. I'm being serious. I could be wrong. It doesn't happen that often. All right, let's keep going. You know, one thing that's nice about this robot is he definitely can keep up. Better than Fox ever could. Although he's not even half the killing machine that Fox is. Yeah, I'm gonna get jumped by 30 death claws, and he's gonna roll up like an army and save my ass. Is he Louis? Louis? Ah, goddamn it, Louisiana sniper. Why is that so hard for me to say? It reminds me of the other day when I got a comment, uh, commenting on my uh, pronunciation of New Orleans or New Orleans. I think I called it in that video. I'm sorry, I don't know the correct vernacular. I try. So apparently, according to K-Rose, I can not give him the water, and he'll actually try to kill me. Call it Nolans. Nolans. <laughs> the family welcomes your return. Always a pleasure to receive you in Maresti. What brings you down here today? Let's see. Well, Arafu has accepted your proposal, Vance. 
Actually, first, can you teach me the ways of a vampire? To be a vampire is a life commitment. It is not achieved by my words. It is something you earn by your own will and sincere meditation. Just teach me. Sadly, I cannot fully make you one of us, but I can teach you how the lifeblood of others brings us regenerative powers. Since your body lacks the way to extract blood as we do, you must find alternative sources for your nourishment. Drink deep of the blood. Allow not a drop to spill. Feel the warmth as it spreads inside you. You are becoming one with the life force of another. They lend a part of themselves to you. For a brief moment, you are two entities becoming one. Allow the feelings to course through your body as you partake of the blood. Feel it empower you and make you stronger. Once you have done this deed, only then will you know what it is like to be a vampire. I see. So, Vance's teachings have granted you the ability to regain 20 health points from the consumption of blood packs. Which doesn't seem that great. In the vanilla game, it actually went from like 1 to 20. I, I think it may have even gone higher. But anyway, Arafu has accepted your proposal, Vance. Excellent. I knew you would serve as an ambassador for us in good faith. I will dispatch Alan to Arafu immediately to help serve as their guardian and honor my end of the agreement. Your efforts surpass those of the average human. In fact, I feel almost like you are a member of our flock. If you ever wish to learn our ways, you have but to ask. I, I did. I did. Can you teach me for realsies now? There is no... Use what little I have given you well. Okay, well... Thanks. See ya. I'm certain our paths will cross again. No, they probably won't. It actually, I was gonna say, it wouldn't be a trip down the escalator if I didn't hurt my fucking legs, right? Right? And also, according to K Rose, he won't get hostile. He'll actually ask you to kill him, that guy that I gave the water to. The cat dragged in. Oh, it's, uh, it's Alan. You moving out there, Alan? You doing yeah, a good job? To get out of the sun. Yeah, he's breaking the rules, man. Whoops. Barbed wire. The meat on the chain is still tinkling. There's a slight breeze in here that's making it making it do that. Not sure what's burning in these barrels also. Probably the remains of a mer lurk or something. Alright, what to do next? We got done with Arafu. We've done Ten Penny. I think we may actually have most of the quests. We could go to the Republic of Dave, I guess. Let's see, Republic of Dave is up here. Let's go ahead and throw down a big quick save. Or big quick save. A big real save. I'm pretty sure it's up here in the top right. Eh, it's about the same. Okay, no, uh, no danger there, Robot. Let's get rid of the marker. Make it a little easier on myself. There's two locations up here. I'd chew up a stim pack while I cross the land. The sun's going down, or maybe it's coming up. I have no idea. Let's see. It is going down. There appears to be a small structure over there. Hmm. That appears to be the other location. I believe up on that terrace is the Republic of Dave. I could be wrong.
<laughs> yes, you did miss Gary. <laughs> G Gary! 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 Good old Gary. You know, there's not too much humor to it. It's just what it is. It's just that easy. Hey there. What the hell? <laughs> Are you throwing things at that? You better not be throwing grenades. No, we're all help you. There you go. <laughs> Am I still on all your kills? I'm sorry. And it fell through the fucking rendering, of course. How you doing? Help yourself to the water. You earned it. What water? <laughs> what are you even talking about? They know what I have. Great. We got a power station now. And no switches. I was expecting something like they have over at the radio stations, but I guess not. Quantum. Bottle cap mine, of course. You know. Where'd she go? Oh, I think she got away. I was gonna explode her pants. Just because there wouldn't be a car. Well, there would be a karma hit, but no one would get pissed off. No factions. Ah, piss. Holy shit. Buff out heroin. X. Mentats, methamphetamines, sack of weed. I already got weed, I don't need that. But whiskey is always welcome to my pockets. More ball caps. Oh, I, oh it's empty. I was gonna say I almost missed you. Okay, I detect another locate. Oh, here she is. Shit, still. This is gonna be great. Run away! Oh, I didn't realize she had a friend. Come here. No, come back. Come back. I'm not gonna hurt you. I wanna give you something. Come back. Yeah, I'm in danger. I don't think so. This is hopeless. Okay. I was gonna say I have the trick. I'd have to drop my clothes though. I was gonna say I can't hold on to that. You just keep running. You get him, Sarge. That one's yours. She was tripping balls, probably. I save her from a giant red scorpion, of course I ex <laughs> She asked me to be careful. Yes, be careful with the live freaking frag. <laughs> frag mine. Those are brilliant words, woman. Quite brilliant. Yes, this is the place. I remember it after all this time. It's one of the easier places in the game, is the game to find, to be honest. Sounds like there's a doing to transpire. Hey there. Hello. I've got nothing to say to you, stranger. Come here. Hey, hey, hey. I was going to try to like teleport into the fence. <laughs> Nope. See, is this thing fenced all the way around? What's going on here? Here we go. Someone's melting them flour. Yours? Is that mine? What? Hello, little girl. Hey, you! Stop! What do you want from the Republic of Dave? I have no idea. I'm not here to hurt anyone, probably. <laughs> Your Republic is forfeit. <laughs> this is now the Kingdom of Madness. 
prepare to be reclaimed by the wasteland. Nah, I'm not here to hurt anyone for now. What is this place? This is the Republic of Dave. Duh. It's named for President Daddy. <laughs> but you have to talk to him if you want to stay here. You're so adorable, I could punch you into a wall. I like to meet this Dave guy. Okay, I'll take you. But President Daddy doesn't always like new people. Okay, follow me. How could he not like me? I'm adorable. You're too slow, little girl. I know where I'm going. I think. Ah, there you are, Sarge. Rosie? I was gonna say, wasn't there a dude in here? Huh. Up. Maybe this isn't his house. This is this the, uh... Oh, there he is. Man, the Brahmin smell awful today. Yeah, they usually do. I am Dave. President of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President or I will have you executed. Now, are you applying for a citizenship, asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? Where do I apply for the election? Most exalted President Dave, I am a, the ambassador from the Wasteland. That's just what I would expect to hear from another spy from the Wasteland. You have one hour to leave the Republic of Dave or be executed. Aha. Uh -huh. Be executed, you say. Be executed, you say. Congratulations, your daughter is an orphan. That's... Oh, you did get excited. I was like, you're not going to get excited? That's right, sons of bitches. Your daughter's a goddamn orphan because you had to fucking mouth off. Give me that key. You know what? I don't feel good about that because I actually wanted to show you guys, you know, a little more. If I just kill Dave, like, right now, I'll probably kill him later, but I kind of wanted to show you some more stuff, to be honest. I am Dave. Let me try not to piss him off this time. Let's see. I seek citizenship in the Republic of Dave. First off, you will address me as... Mr. President. Always. No exceptions. Secondly, after careful consideration, the Office of Immigrant Affairs reports that we've already exceeded our quota for immigration this year. Application denied. You have 24 hours. I see. Let's see. There must be something I can do this day, right? Hmm. Now that you mention it, the President could use a new hunting rifle. Tell you what, you find me a serviceable hunting rifle, and I'll grant you special asylum within my republic. Or you can just pay the 250 cap tax on unwanted refugees. Well, I'll just pay the goddamn caps, because I don't yes, care. Yes, this will do nicely. Congratulations, you are now an official refugee of the Republic of Dave. Fantastic, an official refugee. <laughs> Your republic is forfeit! <laughs> Maybe soon. What's happening, President? President Dave? There's an election for the next president. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a republic? Uh-huh. It looks more like a dictatorship to me. Dictatorship? You insult me. Obviously, the wasteland radiation has taken away your capacity to reason. Well, let's see. Uh, let's, I'd like to discuss the election. The election is still going on. What do you want to know? Well, let's see. Who's all eligible to vote? That would be Bob, Shauna, Jessica, Rosie, and myself. In the Republic, if you're old enough to carry a weapon, you're old enough to vote. Rosie and Jessica are usually here in the capital. Bob usually hangs out outside near the Brahmin pen. Shauna runs the Museum of Dave, so you can find her there. Hmm. Could I help with the election, Mr. President? All right, sure, why not? The people have a tendency to wait until the last minute to vote, but I'd like just to get it over with. I'll spare a few caps if you just tell each of the adults to get over to the voting booth sometime today, so I cinch the victory. 
Not that I have anything to worry about. The people know who their leader is in this republic. Hmm. Uh, tell me more about your republic, President Dave. Come on. The Department of Tourism usually handles all questions for outsiders. Make it quick. Oh, you and your departments. Any future plans for the Republic, Mr. President? Well, the Republic of Dave is the only true sovereign nation in the Wasteland. The only really civilized place left in the world. I've heard that before. One day, all Wastelanders will be citizens in the Republic and know the greatness of their president. You know what happened to the last guy who told me he had a civilized place? I bought in a bunch of ghouls on him. Anyway, that's all I need to know. Well, good for you then. Let's see. Let's. God damn it, Windows! Don't make my uh. <laughs> don't make my Windows transparent, please. If you'd be so kind. Of course, she's gonna come in here. Hello. <laughs> Bye. Hi, Daddy. Have you spoken to Dave? Ah, oh, that's silly. Okay, let's talk to a few people. Hey there. So, Dave gave you the okay, huh? Well, welcome then. I run the Museum of Dave, where the children of the Republic can learn about their heritage. I see. I'd like to discuss the election with you. Me? I'm not sure if I can help you. Let's see. I'd like to throw my head into the ring and run for presidency. Um, did Dave say you could do that? Yep. He did. Let's see, have you considered running for the presidency? Absolutely not. In fact, I'd vote for Dave twice if I could. Then you must be eliminated. Anyway, I still want to throw my hand to the ring. Did you ask Dave if that- Yes, I did. Okay, I get the idea. Let's ask you about something else. Uh, tell me about the Republic. Sure. The Museum of Dave is happy to answer any questions on behalf of the Republic of Dave's Office of Tourism. Let's see, tell me more about this Dave guy. President Dave is the savior of the Wasteland, bringing peace and order to the savages man has brought upon himself. If you would like to learn more, please stop by the Museum of Dave's official tour at 2 p.m. I will have to do that, I guess. Tell me about yourself, Swana. Me? I just run the museum and teach classes to the little ones. You know, truth, justice, and the will of Dave. <laughs> What's your take on the Republic? The Republic of Dave offers a rich history rivaling that of the great nations before the war. Oh yeah? Really? Yeah, that's all I need to know. How very Dave-like. I... <laughs> Instead of God-like, we have Dave-like. Okay, anyway, let's see. No, I'm not gonna tell her to vote. I'd rather she didn't, especially if I'm trying to win this presidency. This Dave guy has his own museum, that's amazing! Oh yes, everything here is from Dave's adventures in the Wasteland before he founded the Republic. I give a tour every day starting around 2 p.m. Yep, yeah, I already know. Uh, okay. Hmm. What are you shooting at, dammit? They really do exist, my god. What are you doing over here? Sorry to get in the line of fire. Yes? What is it? Come on, I don't have all day. <laughs> Daylight's going out and I want to shoot more. Tell me, what do you know about this Republic? Shauna runs the museum, not me. What the hell do you want? Opponent. Okay. Uh, let's see. Tell me more about this Dave guy. Dave made me second commander of the army of Dave. And that means I get a gun. Don't make me have to use it. Uh-huh. Let's see. Uh, Bob, I'd like to know more about you specifically. All you need to know is that I'm second in command next to Dave. So don't bother me. And don't talk to Rosie or Jessica either. Those are Dave's wives, and they have work they need to do. If you know what I mean, jobs they need to, you know, take care of. Anyway, what's your take on the Republic? Dave is in charge. When he's not around, I'm in charge. If you want anything else, Go to the Museum of Dave on the left side of the compound. 
Alright, well that was an engaging, uh, discussion. I'd like to discuss the election. Oh yeah? What about it? Alright. Let's see, have you considered running for the presidency? Man, I'd love to be the president. Everybody would have to listen to me or I could just exile them to the wasteland. And the first thing I'd do is make myself the permanent leader so they couldn't vote me out in some other election. But there's no need for me to run. One year, Dave is just going to make me the leader, just like my grandpa Tom did for him. I see. <laughs> nah, nah, it's not gonna work. Eh, you're too young to take his place anyway. Too young? Too young? I am so sick of everyone around here pulling that you're too young crap with me. I'm tired of it. I'm old enough to take Dave's place. I'll win that election and show everybody. Especially those in the jury. Anyway, you should go vote for yourself. Right? Fine. I'll get out. That's good to hear. Hi. Be more careful. Don't tell me what to do, damn it. Hmm. Women's quarters. Can't sleep in there. I'm looking for a place to flop. Men's quarters. I can't go inside the men's quarters? What? Can I really not sleep here? I can't. Hmm. Dumb. Let's see, is there a place to sleep in here? In the Museum of Dave? I believe there's a bubble head in here. That's one reason you want to come here. Yep, there you go. Perception. So let's see, you found the Vault Tech Limited Edition Bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, Only through observation will you perceive weakness. What's your response? I sense, therefore I avoid. Plus uh, one perception, minus one strength. Who needs luck anyway? And of course I lose luck. So what, says me. The, the bobbleheads with the uh, mod are pretty fucking useless, I have to say. At least the the ones that alter your special. The ones that do the skills are just fine. Oh, well, honestly, they did, uh, they did plus 10 before. Now they only do plus 5. Hmm. I wonder if I can sleep on Dave's bed. God damn it. I'm gonna win this. That's right. I guess I shall should talk to his wives now. We have someone new in my republic. Yes, you're right. I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Well, welcome, stranger. Just be mindful of the children. Okay, well let's see. Tell me more about the Republic. Sure, honey. But don't make it too long, or Dave will start wondering why we're talking. Okay, what can you tell me about this Dave guy? Dave is a good man. He looks after all the children and makes sure they have plenty to do. He's bought a lot of toys, not that he'd admit it. He has our Shauna teach classes to the younger ones. She's over at the Museum of Dave to the west of the Republic. Our Shauna? Is she your daughter or what? She looks about the same age as you. Maybe you just look really good for your age. Anyway, tell me about yourself. Not much to say, really. I'm Dave's wife, or first wife, I guess. I've lived here for mm, many years now. Let's see, you're his first wife. He has two? Well, yes. Dave and I were married when he was wandering the wasteland, before inheriting the Republic from his father, Tom. After Ralph was born, Dave said that the President of the Republic needed to repopulate the Wasteland. So, now we have a second wife. <sighs> she doesn't sound too happy about it anyway. That's all I need to know. What's your take on the Republic first? We have plenty of food and water here. And the compound is fairly safe. I'm glad the children can be raised here, away from the Wasteland. I'd like to see more trading done with the local caravans. But Dave's afraid their outside influence could weaken the Republic. You know, you sound exactly like Moira, except you don't have as much of a cutesy voice. Anyway, that's all for that. And sure, the election. Ele Let's see, you know Bob is running for president? 
Have you considered running for president? Believe it or not, I used to lead a group bigger than this one on an old caravan route. I did it for years, and we did pretty well for ourselves. But what am I talking about? Running against Dave would be like betraying him. Oh, come on. <laughs> you could lead the Republican to a new era, a democracy of Rosie. No. Damn it. No, I don't think I could. Sorry. Damn it. <laughs> I suppose you're too stupid to be president? What? Stupid? Well, <laughs> I guess this was all just a joke to you. You've had your fun. Now leave me alone. Anyway, you should go vote. You're right. I'll go right now. Good luck, Dave. You have my vote. Or do or does he? Yes, that's locked. Yes, I can see you I I was just trying to find your other wife, I'm sorry. Let's see. Tell me more about the Republic, Jessica. I should talk to Dave, but okay. Let's see. So you're Dave's second wife. First wife. Rosie is the second wife, since she's the oldest and not good for anything anymore. <laughs> Let's see. She's not good for anything anymore. Are you sure? Tell me about this Dave guy. That's President Dave to you, Wastelander. Nope. Call him by his full name, or we'll shoot you. I'd love to he see you try, sweetheart. Even that selfish Rosie and her brats. My children will be a lot nicer than hers. They'll be cuter, I swear to God. Could you tell me more about yourself, Jessica? All I have to say is Dave is my husband. Mine. Do you understand? I don't care what Rosie has to say about it. I see. Just because Rosie used to be this big leader out in the wasteland, she thinks she's better than me. She even ordered Dave around once. I see. She ordered him around? My God. <laughs> the audacity of such a thing. Anyway, what's your take on this republic? Dave is a great leader. He's going to bring civilization back to the wasteland. One day, they'll say it all started here. Uh huh. That's all I need to know. What about the election? I'll help you if I can. Let's see. Have you considered throwing? <laughs> have you considered running for the presidency? No way. You'd have to be crazy to run against him. Ah. Oh. Well, you're probably too stupid to be the president. Did you know Bob is running for president? Hmm. I don't know that he stands much of a chance against Dave. Oh, he could always try. Anyway, I let's talk about something else. Just go vote, damn it. I guess you're right. I'll go right now. You're gonna go vote for Dave anyway. I don't give a fuck. <laughs>